Hello, howdy guys. This is Jaman from Future IT Vision. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to run Selenium test in Docker. So, we earlier we already installed the Docker. So, now we have to go to Docker Hub. Because we want to run the Selenium, so we have to find some Docker container for Selenium. Selenium. If you Docker Hub, and you see here container, and over here have Docker pull command. So if you don't know pull command, you can copy from here, and also have tags. By tags, also you can pull the image. So over here tags. So latest, you can give the command here Docker pull Selenium latest. If you have all the Docker, or you can copy this one. I'm going to copy that and going to the my terminal and I'm going to paste it to docker pull selenium hub I'm going to pull this and I already have latest up to it we have to run this container image so latest what's going on denied local login denied so my docker login is not there so no problem i'm going to say docker login good login is success so if you don't have login you can docker login and maybe it might be they ask your username password you have to provide the username password i already have before authenticate that's why they don't ask so i'm going to go back my command Uh, what mistake I did oh my bad I give the space after name here so make sure that you don't have any space sudo docker run my uh, hyphen d hyphen p 444 colon 444 space uh, hyphen hyphen name without a space I was giving a space selenium hub if I go enter hopefully it's gonna work if I say enter yeah the docker is running with this port how do you know docker is running before that what you're gonna do we're gonna say docker ps say now you're able to see that the docker hub image is running here uh, in 90 seconds ago okay this is this image is running which continue pull, uh, pull and this image is running so now how we will see in our console in our ui that this docker console is running so what you're gonna go uh, we are you see over here the selenium hub which is running is showing here in the docker app okay and second we can go here and we can say local host local host clone 444 this is the port okay and your local host if you enter and you should be able to see here and if you go console uh, there is a console is there with nothing associated with this console that's why it's empty it is the view config we have here uh, timeout false all the host this is the local host uh, my local host port hub this blah blah we over here so now what is the second now if you want to run your test with chrome or firefox you have to decide which one you want to run let me do uh, let me show it to you guys if you want to run with chrome so you have to go to terminal and I'm going to use here sudo again docker run and then minus d hyphen d and I'm going to give the link selenium hub and clone hub then selenium slash node I want to say node 
that and Chrome. All this command, all this command I'm using here, I will be put in the description in our video YouTube video description section. You can collect from there. Okay, step by step, it will be provided. So Chrome, if I put enter here, and you see this is running good. That is good. We see whatever we running is doing good. So now if I go again uh, in the you know app console, if you see that here now my Selenium Hub, Selenium Node, which is running. Okay, another another image is running. So now if I want to go Docker PS, Docker PSA, now you will be see first image here Selenium Node Chrome, another Selenium Hub, both is running. So now what it will be makes something change in our console yes it will be something change so if you go to the our console if you refresh and now you see here your web driver chrome browser is configured web driver chrome browser is configured over here okay web driver chrome browser is a configured and this is the port so now we see our chrome do you want another browser so we can use the firefox so what do you have to do so first of all let's finish with chrome then i will be sure to how to do firefox so now we need a code we need a code for run this test in our browser so what you're gonna do so now we will be go here i have existing framework guys all the browser is here so i'm gonna use that here LCP and okay and I'm gonna copy this part because I already have it and I'm gonna see here docker docker okay cool so you're gonna use the chrome option here chrome option Chrome options equal new Chrome options. Statement close. Then now we're gonna say it driver. We're gonna call our driver equal. Now we're gonna use our remote driver. Okay, not web driver. We're gonna do remote driver. Okay, because we want to run our test in the remotely in our Docker. Okay, remote web driver. As well. So now I'm seeing here one error. Why? Because it should be everything looks good here. Docker. Okay. Browser. That's my bad. Cool. I have extra uh, bracket here. So I have my code is ready here, and my console also ready. My Docker is running. Before you run your test, make sure that before you run your test make sure that your docker is running in your machine second is whatever image is running you pull from uh, you know docker which is running and also your node is up how do you know you use when you use the command then you can see that console is is open like that if you don't those things so and also if you want to see the in app those are those nodes are running so now if I run the test and I use the docker so I'm gonna go my XML file I'm gonna provide here uh, what do we want to run I want to run docker by docker I already have here and if I run what what will be happen so if you run here docker it will be not run in your local machine it will be run in the docker so your computer will be free if you don't have capability to run in the janky in your test or in source lab you can use the docker and not busy not busy your don't make busy your computer but at least you can run your test in the docker uh, easily i see my test are all passing okay one test failed that's okay uh, that might be some for expert uh, cannot find out, but you see other things is running.
good all touch as possible now i'll be showing to you guys how to do with the firefox simple things i is here chrome option i'm going to comment out the chrome option for your reference i'm here use here firefox option okay and now over here you're going to say firefox option equal new firefox option okay cool and I'm going to use this object here. This code we need to change, but we need to still run the Chrome node, it's a Firefox node. We don't have Firefox node here, we have a Chrome node. So in this case, what we have to do? We have to go our terminal. So we have to uh, run command for Firefox node. So you have to call uh, sudo docker run minus d and link and link and selenium hub and firefox so if you use this command and if you run it so what will be happen your firefox node will be up so after hit this enter this you should be able to see asking for password which is my computer password i'm using sudo so whenever you're using sudo they're going to ask your computer permission so my image is uh, now running uh, for firefox so go to the your cursor over here it should refresh mm, it's taking time give some time yeah firefox browser is up firefox browser up chrome browser is up and firefox now i can run the firefox if i run the test again if i run the test again the test will be run on the firefox pick up the test already and it will be executed remember one test was failing so fully yeah so look like our test is passing so now today we learn how to run our selenium java project test in docker in remote driver not in our local machine in remote driver so thanks a lot guys if you have any question feel free to ask question all the command i use i will put in the description section you can pick up from there